guys welcome back to my channel um so today i'm gonna try to film a quick little video on how to do a very natural kind of like glowy skin summertime makeup look basically every single video you see around the kind of time of year so myself anyway so i am bare faced i've just got a little bit of um lip balm by clinique on but the first thing i'm going to do obviously is moisturize my face um this is the aloe moisturizing lotion for the brand forever it's um not like a popular brand or anything but like it's good it's got aloe in it it's what i use every single day in the morning to sort of like keep my skin glowy and hydrated Okay, after your face is moisturized, it's all like prepped and ready for makeup, we're gonna go in with a BB cream, because obviously it's summer, you don't wanna kick loads of makeup on your face, so a thin layer of BB cream just to even out the skin tone, complexion. The one I'm using is the Dream Brands BB cream from Maybelline, there you go, just focus it there. Um, this is in the shade, the light medium shade, so you know, it can like range depending on whether you're tan or not. But yeah, it's my fave for the summertime. I've missed a step. Actually, what I like to do is because I've got quite a matte concealer, I like doing my concealer first. So obviously, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. Gonna go in with a little bit of that just under the eyes and a tiny dot wherever there's like a little bit of a blemish or redness from like an old spot or anything. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna try to keep this concealer underneath like my eyes and not try to go too far down my cheek or it'll like start to cover up freckles and stuff and obviously we want this to look natural. So yeah, just a little bit on like the eyelid and out of it, there you go. But yeah, so that's the concealer and then you just put a, then we're just gonna go in with the BB cream over the top. And this is just because the BB cream is quite dewy, so you'll like leave the dewiness as like the top layer so you don't have to like go over it with powder to like set concealer or anything because it'll already be like underneath the BB cream. And I know it looks really dark, but my body is a lot more tan than my face, so I'm trying to match it like that, so yeah. Plus it's actually quite sheer, so it like blends out quite good. Gonna take it down the neck a little bit just to make sure that it is blended in fully and yeah so that is the base just like concealer foundation obviously I do look a lot a little bit darker than like I did before it's a little trick I like to pretend I'm a little bit more tan than I usually am but I don't think it's too crazy in comparison to the rest of my body obviously you can't see my body because I'm wearing a shirt so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my Urban Decay Naked Skin um, Loose Powder just to set sort of the under eye, the chin, the nose, the T-zone and just like lightly dust the excess around the air edges because obviously I don't want to set my full face like completely because we still want a little bit of that like dewiness to like come through. To do that I'm just using this little like Eco Tools Travel Powder Brush. It's just like big and fluffy and I like it for powder stuff. I'm doing this over my bed and I'm like trying so hard not to get like powder everywhere but let's just see how this goes. The reason as you can see as I was doing there I was like patting the powder into my skin. I think that like makes it a lot more like smooth and I feel like it just goes on better. Um, but yeah that's powdering done. As you can tell, I'm a bit more matte around the edges, but I've still got a bit of a shine on, like, cheeks and stuff. So, let's move on to the next bit. So, since we're not powdering the entire face, I'm going to let my, like, foundation and, like, concealer and powder and everything kind of, like, dry and, like, kind of sit into my skin for a bit. Just so it becomes less sticky so I can go over the top of it with like highlighter and blush and stuff. Um, so for now I'm just going to focus on like my eye and I'm going to do my eyebrows with my Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit. It's like a little tiny travel size that I got in New York.
Okay, so those are my brows done. I guess the skin is all right. Um, so we can carry on. So the next thing I'm gonna do is bronze, just really lightly around the outside because I don't like to do a lot of contouring when it's the summer and it's just too much effort. So I just bronze up lightly to give the face back a little bit of definition. And obviously you put the bronzer in a little bit of a three shape, so like forehead, cheek, and jawline, and just makes it easy to remember where to put it, you know? These hoops are really doing my head in. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, by the way, that um, my brush is just from m so it was some weird little gift set, and my bronzer is the Topshop bronze in the shade Mohawk, it's just, you know, the matte bronzer with the, um, like, you know, stripy texture. Anyway, so that is our bronzer all on. I think it's pretty even, I think it's alright, I look warmer, I look like I've had a spray tan. <laughs> Oops, oh well. Anyway, so now I'm going to go on to blush. I've recently gotten back in... <clears throat> my voice is going... Ooh. I have recently been like getting back into this blush. I used to use it quite a lot. Um, but... Where's my blush gone? But it is the Sleek Blush in the shade Rose Gold. So it's this really pretty like... Um, like quite bright corally pink with like gold shimmer in it so that's what I'm going to use today it blends in really nice to like highlights and stuff as well so yeah try not to take too much of that I always like to take my blush like a little bit up into my temples just so it like blends in better with like the highlight and stuff and it always sits right on top of the contour as well so it, like you get this seamless kind of like area of color on your face so yeah i don't know if you can like fully see but like it has its own like a little glow of its own and it's like lovely and like pink tone it's corally it's really nice with like tan skin so if you're feeling a bit if your skin tone's gone a little bit warmer because of the sun it'll um It'll work quite well, but yeah, you can totally see like a little bit the gold um, coming through on that one. But yeah, now we're gonna go on to the best bit, always the best bit, the highlighting. I've got a couple of options for my highlighter today. Um, things that I do to kind of like achieve like the glowy skin feel. Um, one of them is actually like highlighters and like stuff and the other two are actually eyeshadows which is a trick I'll get into in a minute anyway so one of the things I have is obviously the Revolution Ultra blush palette in rose gold 2 and inside these are like the colors obviously so my favorites are this one this one and that one this one's a gold and these two are more like pinky silver ones but yeah those are the ones that work best for my skin tone I also like to dip into this this is the Morphe um, Soul of Summer palette. Summer Soul, Soul Summer, I don't know, something like that. Um, but yeah, this entire top row, so good for highlighting, so good for highlighting. For the glow today, I think I'm gonna go in first with a little bit of just this gold shade from the Revolution palette on a fan brush from Jolie Beauty. This is part of the Pearl Girl brush set, which is very hit and mess, I must say. I like some of the brushes, I like some, but that's a different video. So, just gonna get a little bit of that onto the brush. Okay, so that's quite a bright base. Not mad. And now just for that extra intensity, that extra pop, just right here on the top, I'm gonna go in with a smaller brush. This is a, this is meant to be an eyeshadow brush from that same sort of Pearl Girl set from Jolie Beauty, but it's obviously like literally like the same size as my eye so like I can't it's way too big for anything um, but 
it's like the perfect size to like stick a little bit of highlighter right there at the high point so I'm gonna go into the lightest gold shade just to fit with the whole gold theme and then let's see how this goes I'm gonna hit the nose with that. Ooh. There you go, Cupid's bow. So yeah, this is our glowy base down ready. Um, the only things left to do now are a little bit of mascara, no eyeshadow, maybe a little bit of liner, and some lips. So. I'm just gonna do that now. So yeah, all I've done now is just put on a couple of coats of mascara. Um, I didn't think that this look needed like eyeliner because obviously like, eh, I didn't think it needed it honestly. Um, yeah, so that's one coat of the number seven dramatic lift, another travel size because I'm the travel size queen. Um, yeah one coat of that and then on top of that another coat of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara obviously in a travel size because why wouldn't it be a travel size at this point like what and now the last thing is the lips so oh jesus um my favorite lip liner at the moment has been the Maybelline Color Sensational Shaping Lip Liner this is in the shade Nude Whisper number 10 just looks like this and it's one of those twist up ones. I'm pretty sure I had a rant in one of my older videos about how I hate like sharpened pencils and that it always has to be a twist up. So yeah, twist up a pencil. But yeah, I'm just gonna lightly line my lips with this and then I'm gonna go in with a lipstick in a second. Now this lip liner is quite nude, but I think that this kind of like light pinky nude goes really nice when you've got like dark skin, especially if your skin is like yellow tone kind of, like mine is, so anyway, on to lipstick. The lipstick I'm using is the, sh uh, the lipstick I'm using is the MAC lipstick in Shanghai Spice, it's just like a nice pretty light pinky nude, um, it is like the cream sheen formula, so it is quite like shiny it's not matte it doesn't dry down but i quite like that and obviously it looks like healthy and like i don't know what i'm saying but yeah guys so this is the finished look really bronzy glowy it's not like crazy or anything it's really like natural and wearable and like everyday sort of thing this is what I wear when I'm going out in the sun and I want to uh, blind people but yeah so hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do give it a thumbs up and if you want go subscribe why wouldn't you want to click the button it's down there um yeah so hopefully in the summer I'll be posting more videos I mean I've been getting lots of like makeup inspiration so maybe I'll be doing some more of that and I'm doing some traveling so that's also coming up so make sure you do subscribe click the little bell button so you get a notification because obviously I have no schedule so my videos just come up whenever they do so make sure you get notified other than that I hope you guys try this out hope you guys are able to like hope this helped basically and um yeah see you in my next video bye <laughs>